Hello, welcome to Life Stories. My name is Justine, your host, and I warmly welcome you to the show. Today we are in Masaka District at a place called Boala, in Dr. James Sechitoleko's home. Here we visit a man that was known by many as a smart, intelligent, and articulate legislator. He was the Chotela County Member of Parliament, a well-known, established lawyer and journalist. In 1998, he was involved in a terrible accident that changed his life forever. Today, after 14 years, he is restricted to a wheelchair and still battles effects of a stroke. This is the story of Honorable Patrick Chigundu. Former Chotera County legislator Patrick Chigundu was born in Chotera but lived with his parents in Mbale. He was first introduced to the political arena in 1976 when as a first year law student at Makere University, the then president Idi Amin Dada arrested a group of students and locked them up in much Indian military barracks for participating in student demos. On his release, he fled the country and continued his law degree at Nairobi University, graduating in 1980. Chigundu then undertook postgraduate studies in law at universities of Makere, Nairobi and Wales Cardiff University, the Kenyan Law School and the Uganda Law Development Center. He is qualified as an advocate to practice in the High Court of Kenya and Uganda. An astute MP Chigundu suffered a major setback when in 1998 he sustained head injuries in an accident at Rela on Kampala Masaka Highway. This brought his political career to an abrupt end. Life Stories today is in Boala at Dr. James Sechitoleko's home. He is the younger brother to Honorable Patrick Chigundu. This home is where Honorable has been staying for some time and is living right now. How are you, Honorable? Very fine. How is life? I'm not working yet, but I'm I will work. Mm. Mm. How is life besides the walking? Mm. What are some of your memories back then, before the accident, as a youth? at the university, law student, very vibrant MP. No, I, I said the school in the most famous school in Mbaya district. Mm. I was there until piece, one school until piece of primary seven. Mm. That was the best. So I went to, to my second school. Mm. I was again the best in a level. Mm. And the best in the Sun region. That was the first best in the faculty of Roma Care University. What do you miss? About your days in Parliament, oh, what are the memories you cherish? The, 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 the heated, heated debates, mm. and I was not active in it. Mm. I miss it. You miss it. Mm. Uh, do you recall this accident? No, just a little sleep before Rukai. Mm. So there was a car crash, a motor a crash with little cars, mm. and uh, I, 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 I almost, I almost. Consciousness immediately. Mm. So I, I only woke up when I was in the Mulag hospital. Mm. How long did you spend in the coma? You know, I bet you were told when you mm. recovered. I, I can't be exact, but about a year. You spent about a year? I can't be exact. Um, in a coma? Um, no, not in a coma. Mm. In a coma, I was there about four months. Um, and then I was in the hospital. Mm. And I've been unable to walk since then. Mm. Uh, as you find me, I was like that. Mm. Mm. Is there anything that complicates your health most? I'm fine, but I can't walk. Mm. Mm. And my hand is a bit imbalanced. Mm. My hand is not okay. Mm. Mm. Are you still passionate about politics right now? Very much so. Mm. Mm. You keep up with the current affairs? Exactly. All okay. right, I don't know what's mm. happening. How do you feel about the lady speaker for the parliament, oh, Honorable Rebecca Kadaga? Rebecca Kadaga is one of the most effective speakers we have had since independence. Mm. By the way, I was, she was just only ahead of me. Mm. She joined in 75, I joined in 76. Mm. And she was the youngest, but she was still effective. You mm. could see an effective woman. Mm. 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 How, how do you feel about the ninth parliament? Do you think it was better than the sixth? Where you are? I was, I was in the sixth parliament from 1996 to 2001. Mm. But the next parliament is more effective. Mm. 
because she has a younger generation. They have, they have, they've been battling corruption. Mm. Do you still believe in your party? In of Aaron? course I do. Mm. Mm. So we should wait for you 2016? When I'm okay. I, <laughs> I, I still have belief in parliament. Oh, okay, please. Democratic parliament. Mm. Mm. Honorable, you being in this state, do you value life more than you did mm. then? I would say the position I am, first of all, I was very passionately depressed. But I've taken a long time, I, I'm stabilizing. Mm. But I miss the, the past. Mm. But I'm stabilizing now. Mm. Mm. Does this um, incapacitation make you miss those positions or you miss your normal stature? You can. Sentimentally, I, I miss it. Mm. Because I was a small boy. <laughs> And at my age, I had made life, it's life. Mm. I miss it, but it has been a long, long struggle to be what I am now. As a highly educated advocate, Patrick had a sterling career. While in Kenya, he worked as a counsel to the City Council of Nairobi and lectured in law at the Government Training Institute in Kenya. In Uganda, he was Company Secretary of Uganda Foods and Beverages Limited, Corporation Secretary of the Uganda New Vision Corporation, before resigning to co-find the law firm of Victoria Advocates and Lego Consultants as a partner. He has also lectured in law at Makere University and the Law Development Center. He was a member of the business section of the International Bar Association specializing in commercial law, corporate practice, and tax law. Patrick has also undertaken various professional courses in business and financial management at various colleges, at the Kenya Institute of Administration, Institute of Finance Management, Dar es Salaam, and Kensington College of Business Studies, London. He is a certified public secretary of Kenya and an associate of the Institute of Chartered Secretaries and Administrators. To top it all, he had all the markings of a brilliant statesman. Fourteen years after the accident, he has been relegated to leading a quiet life in the countryside. How do you spend your free time now? I read. You read? I read. How do you keep up with the current affairs that you're so passionate I about? I the radio. I read, read papers every day. Mm. Papers in Uganda, English, I read all of them every day. Mm. Mm. So I, follow, I follow and I have chats with people. All right. Mm. As a matter of fact, this country, Uganda, was robbed of an articulate lawyer, legislator, and journalist. He can no longer deliver his important services to this country because he's battling a stroke after that terrible accident and has been confined to this chair for 14 years. Life Stories returns shortly with Honorable Patrick Chigundu. <laughs>